healthcare is, uh, is a window to look at a whole lot of stuff that's happening with society and all the stuff about people losing moral compasses and losing their way and the fact that there's a crisis is actually exciting because it means we can rethink rather radically what we're doing and nursing's on the brink of um, either falling into a steaming heap or revisioning and so there's something within our profession that's um, been an internalised constraint which is there's something that's allowed nursing to be a dominated profession and there's an awakening to that, a realisation that, you know, by definition, hegemony or dominance is very much about um, not only having an oppressor or a dominant interest group like in healthcare, uh, influencing policy and politics and funding and possibilities. It's about other groups allowing that to occur. And that's the exciting thing is that it's not about a profession having something hoisted on them. It's quite exciting to look at what was it within that profession that allowed the hoisting to begin with and complies with that. And this is the awakening that's um, needing to happen within healthcare in general. And it's, that means that all the traditional hierarchies uh, will resolve or dissolve um, as they're no longer useful. I mean, we, we can't keep going, even though there's this social spin and a government spin, a socially mystified spin that the current system's working. We know that it's not you know, particularly equitable, it's not fully accessible, it's the, there's not the, potentially the best use of what limited resources we've got. So there's some exciting changes coming as uh, healthcare rethinks it. And uh, it's not a matter of just sitting around passively then waiting to be recognised, it's about um, having the courage and the space to raise a voice and actually contribute and contribute all these discussions even though we're having them in healthcare really it's about uh, answering a whole lot of that stuff that people are craving in society is that you know with the the you know down sort of uh, influence of the church and churches and spirituality and you know we know there's mass immiseration there's there's in phenomenal rates of people who are dissatisfied, depressed, anxious. And so the questions we come up with about healthcare and about working with people and their journey to wellness actually will then flow across potentially into um, how healthcare organisations work with other community organisations like religious groups or, or other groups aiming for health and wellness, the fitness industry and things. And so we'll potentially um, with all this hard work we'll get the benefits that it'll be a society uh, change, not just a healthcare change. Yeah, like any time of crisis with danger and opportunity, the, the danger is, is that we can just keep trying to look at healthcare through the same uh, dominant medical model, even though it's not working, and the danger is as we keep doing that and, and keep you know, trying to fill the gap with other groups like physician assistants or anything to try and you know, keep sticking the fingers in the dike, but eventually you know, it's going to flood in. And, and all is lost. And so there's a danger that we keep doing that. But the opportunity is that, yeah, the space is, is being created for us to look at things differently and to um, look at clearly how we can all contribute to the health and well-being of people. And, I mean, that meets some of that demand that people are screaming for in terms of primary health. It's taking a model as well that's not just about illness, but it certainly incorporates it you know, working with people when they're unwell, but a uh, more sort of a holistic vision of working with people towards wellness and maintaining wellness. And so really society's asking for it with the, you know, the, the cry out about our obesity epidemic and, uh, you know, the need for primary health care, asthma intervention, a whole range of things. It's already been asked for. It's just the health minister sitting around scratching his head at the moment saying, trying to use the same old way, why isn't it making the new problems disappear? When it's, and that's the exciting time is I think we're going to have some good conversations about uh, realigning healthcare with, with wellness needs.